Hello students and welcome back to bankexamstudy.com. My name is Ramandeep Singh and today we are going to do an important topic for IBPS, RRB, GBO, Scale 2 and Scale 3 2023 exam. Today we are doing the RBI functions and conduct of monetary policies. So I have prepared around 20 questions and today I'm going to share 10 important questions from RBI functions. Very important, very important. Hai. Let's start the session. Before starting, let me tell you IBPS RRB scale 2 scale 3 classes we have already started. We are providing complete coverage of the syllabus. We are providing video classes, notes, quizzes and the test series for IBPS RRB scale 2 and scale 3 exam. Complete coverage de rahe hum pure syllabus ki. So link to join the course is available in the description. So which committee recommended uh, setting up of central bank named Reserve Bank of India? जो रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सेटअप हुआ था उसको सेटअप करने की रेकमेंडेशन कौन सी कमेटी ने दी थी व्हिच कमेटी गेव द रेकमेंडेशन सो आरबीआई वाज सेटअप ऑन द रेकमेंडेशन ऑफ हिल्टन यंग कमीशन हिल्टन यंग कमीशन की रेकमेंडेशन पे आरबीआई सेटअप हुआ था ओके सो कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट्स एंड यू नीड टू टेल मी व्हिच ऑफ द स्टेटमेंट्स आर करेक्ट अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ गवर्नर of RBI is made by the President of India. Kya President uh, karta hai appointment? The term of RBI Governor is fixed by Constitution of India. The source of authority of uh, for the Governor of RBI is RBI Act 1934. Is may say, uh, you need to understand the point number one, the appointment of Governor of RBI is made by the Government of India. पहले तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया करती है प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया नहीं करता एंड द टर्म इज आल्सो डिसाइडेड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया सो ओनली द थर्ड वन इज करेक्ट ओनली द थर्ड वन इज करेक्ट बिकॉज़ द अपॉइंटमेंट ऑफ द आरबीआई गवर्नर इज मेड बाय द गवर्न द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड आल्सो द टेन्योर इज आल्सो फिक्स्ड बाय द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट ओके बट द सोर्स ऑफ अथॉरिटी फॉर द गवर्नर ऑफ आरबीआई is RBI Act 1934. Only the third one is correct. First two are incorrect. Who nominates the four director from four directors from each four local boards in RBI Central Board? So, char director con nominate karta hai? The central government nominates four directors from four local boards located at Mumbai, Kolkata, Chennai, and New Delhi. So, the central government uh, they appoint these four. Uh, directors from four different local boards which of the following is not the function of central bank central bank and mr kya function nahi hai controller of money supply banker to the government and public debt manager lender of the last resort uh, custodian of foreign reserves lending to trade and industrial body so obviously the rba does not do the lending to trade and industrial bodies ye function nahi hai so controller of money supply, the, the RBI make changes to repo rate, reverse repo rates, right? It, uh, it handles the money supply in the country. It is the banker to the government and public debt manager. So the Reserve Bank of India helps the government to raise money via sovereign gold bond, sovereign green bond, uh, T bills, etc. Right? Lender of the last resort, if the government is unable to find uh, money, find the debt the RBI is there custodian of foreign reserve who uh, I mean the government ka reserve hai, uh, the foreign the forex reserve of the, the country is held by the Reserve Bank of India so these four are the functions of RBI okay fifth, fifth one E is not the function of RBI you need to understand uh, these are the major functions its main issue of notes obviously the RBI issues and notes and currency management is also a function of RBI. So in the in India, central banks functions uh, as a debt uh, banker and debt manager to the government usually refers to which of the following banker to government primarily refers to managing uh, the banking needs of the central government only RBI helps government to raise funds through public issuing. The only purpose of lending to government is to finance government schemes. So select the correct one. In me se kya uh, second one is correct. So RBI helps the government to raise fund from the public through issuing government securities. Sovereign gold bond, sovereign green bond uh, is a good example. This ki madad se the, uh, the government of India raise money. Uh, banker to government primarily refers to as the banker to the central and the state government. RBI maintains deposit account 
makes and receive payment on their behalf help them raise a fund through public uh, through issuing of the government securities and rbi also lend money to the governments so that is also a function of rbi and rbi does not manage the banking needs of central government only but also of the state government so not only central but also state government also state government the only purpose of lending to government is to finance uh, government scheme that is not the only purpose there are multiple purposes there are other purposes as well okay <clears throat> other purposes such as temporary cash deficit so there can be a temporary cash deficit jiska uh, pura karna chahti hai government that is the goal as well so out of these uh, options second one is a correct one okay regarding the rbi consider the following statement the rbi counsels the uh, so the commercial banks on matters related to the money that is actually correct <coughs> uh, to open new branches anywhere in india all indian banks need a license from rbi that is incorrect i guess <coughs> sorry so there is no such requirement banks can open their branches they don't need license from the rbi rbi is a sole authority that determines the interest rate that is false RBI set the bank rate, but there is an autonomy. The banks can set their own interest rate. So because uh, you can see the uh, the SBI, the HDFC, they are all having different interest rates. Sara, sabi ka interest rate alag hai. Everybody is having different interest rate. Uh, sabi ke FD ke rates alag hai, loan ke rate alag hai. So only the first one is the correct one. <clears throat> Now please uh, try to understand these terms. uh the actions taken by rbi accommodative hawkish calibrated tightening and neutral so these are the four kind of actions taken by the reserve bank of india if you are reading a newspaper of economic time indian express pad rahe ho ye aapne zarur padhe honge terms accommodative hawkish neutral uh calibrated uh, tightening on the neutral so uh let's get to the meaning first of all let me just hide myself accommodative when rbi adopts an accommodative stance it implies the central bank aims to encourage encourage economic growth by reducing interest rate so the cent, uh, the rbi is accommodating the whole economy the goal what is the goal of accommodative stance to encourage the economic growth how the e economy can grow by reducing the interest rate as the interest rate reduces when the interest rate goes down people borrow more if the people are borrowing more money people are spending more money if the people are spending more money the demand is going to go up if the demand is going up the obviously the business uh, is going to go up the whole consum the consumption and the investment stimulus is there that is accommodative stance what is neutral stance neutral means uh, stability <clears throat> the central bank aims to balance the objective of inflation and the economic growth so uh, the rbi is is neither tightening nor loosening its monetary policy stance or keeping the interest rate stable they are not increasing or decreasing the interest rate okay <clears throat> what is hawkish stance when rbi adopts hawkish stance it implies that the central bank is more concerned about inflationary pressures than economic growth in 2014 to 2016 the rbi had hawkish stance the pressure was on uh, the uh, how to reduce the inflation the inflation was like upwards of 10% rbi was more concerned about inflation when the major goal is uh, controlling the inflation and not economic growth that is hawkish stands right calibrated tightening when rbi undertake calibrated tightening it means rbi is raising the interest rate rbi is raising the interest rate by reducing the uh, to reduce inflation rbi is raising the interest rate as the interest rate goes up as the interest rate goes up people are going to borrow less if people are borrowing less money the spending is going to go down if the spending is going to go down the demand is going to go down and obviously the production is going to go down there will be layoffs there will be unemployment people are going to spend less money <clears throat> that is calibrated tightening so remember these terms 
now let's get back to the question accommodative means uh, accommodative means uh, lower interest rate accommodative means lower interest rate uh, hawkish means <coughs> the rbi may increase uh, the lending rate of interest the calibrated tightening the neutral neutral means unchanged neutral means there will be no change uh, <coughs> no change there is no priority on the inflation or the economic growth calibrated tightening rbi will uh, either keep the repo rate unchanged or may increase it uh, so the hawkish one we go for the rbi increases the lending rate of uh, lending rate to the banks chalo theek hai so once that rbi is increasing the lending rate rbi uh, is increasing the lending rates to control the inflationary pressures so c ka tha 2 so that is a simple answer for uh, the e is the simple answer okay so try to understand these four terms accommodative stance neutral hawkish and calibrated tightening so uh, there is a similarity between hawkish stance and calibrated tightening you need to understand when it comes to the hawkish stance the the when it comes to the hawkish stance the goal is controlling the inflation then the economic growth okay so we are focus on inflation while in calibrated tightening we are focusing on growth let's move forward so consider the following statements if crr is raised if cash reserve ratio is raised the credit availability in the economy may increase see if the cash reserve ratio is raised the banks are going to have less money with them obviously the credit availability in the economy will reduce okay so this one is incorrect so this one is false okay <clears throat> a rise in repo rate may lead to an increase in the cost of borrowing if the repo rate increases what is repo rate the rate the rate charged by the central bank Uh, on the cash borrowed by the commercial bank so the repo rate is a rate of interest charged by the central bank on the cash borrowed by the commercial bank so if the repo rate increases the cost of borrowing would increase so that is correct that is true reduced bank rate can increase the cost of funds for borrower so reduced bank rate would reduce uh, the cost of borrowing so this one is false if slr is increased it is likely to decrease the money supply in the economy so if the slr is increased the banks is going to have less money with them so it is likely to decrease it is actually true this one is actually true so if the banks are having less money with them so obviously if the banks are you know see if the slr is increased so the banks they need to have more money as compared to the deposit bank ko apne paas zyada paisa rakhna padega so they will give less money in the economy there will be less money in the economy there will be decreased money supply so this one is true <coughs> higher the slr less money in the economy less money in the market so the first and third are false rest are true <coughs> what is the primary objective of standing deposit facility a recently introduced was standing uh, i guess 3 4 years back standing deposit facility so let's uh, move on to standing deposit facility what is the primary objective the standing deposit facility is a tool for managing liquidity <coughs> what is the goal to absorb deposit from commercial banks without having to provide any government securities to the banks in return so without providing any security the central bank can absorb the liquidity can absorb the funds <clears throat> from the banks without providing any collateral without uh, providing any collateral the central bank can absorb the liquidity from the market so the arrangement does not require any collateral that means rbi is not obliged to provide any security for the liquidity absorption <clears throat> that's a nice thing so to mop up the excess liquidity from the banking system in india the standing deposit facility was introduced which section of rbi act 1934 specifies the inflation target is the nominal anchor of rbi's monetary policy as per section 45 
सब सेक्शन जेड ए वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिपीटेड मल्टीपल टाइम्स दैट इट वॉज द आर बी एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर वॉज अमेंटेड इन ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन टू प्रोवाइड स्टेचुटरी बेसिस फॉर इन्फ्लेशनरी टारगेट इन्फ्लेशन टारगेट एज मॉनिटरी पॉलिसी फ्रेमवर्क द सेक्शन स्टेट्स दैट द सेंट्रल गवर्नमेंट शेल इन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन विद द बैंक डिटरमाइन द इन्फ्लेशन टारगेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स वंस इन एवरी फाइव ईयर सो देर शेल बी अ प्रॉपर इन्फ्लेशन टारगेट इन टर्म्स ऑफ कंज्यूमर प्राइस इंडेक्स वंस इन एवरी फाइव ईयर्स सो दैट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू सेक्शन फोर्टी फाइव जेड ए ऑफ आर बी एक्ट नाइनटीन थर्टी फोर एज अमेंडेड इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन सो दीज आर द टेन क्वेश्चन वील बी डूइंग मोर क्वेश्चन टूमोरो सो दिस इज पार्ट ऑफ आई बी पी एस आर आर बी स्केल टू एंड स्केल थ्री कॉस फॉर फॉर टू थाउजेंड students we are providing complete video classes the notes test series power caps use live sessions and interview preparation uh, sessions on our dashboard link to join the course is available in the description please check a uh, list of our successful students who took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for them all these students that took our courses in the past and they cracked their respective exams i am really really happy for all of them if there is any doubt in your mind please ask your questions Uh, link to join the course is available in the description. Nine zero six seven two zero one triple zero. This is our WhatsApp number. My name is Ramandeep Singh, and in case of any doubt, you can ask your questions, and I'm going to answer your doubts. So that's all for today, students. Thank you, and have a very nice day. Bye bye.